In this video, I'll be turning this old vase into this beautiful concrete effect vase using air dry clay and coffee grounds and just a couple of materials that you can find around your house. It gave a really, really effective finish and I would really recommend doing this. It looked lovely at the end. The clay I used was Das Air Dry Clay and I used the white colour. You can get all different colours, but I used white because I wanted that white and then speckled effect with the ground coffee. To roll out the clay, I used a glass bottle and then I went on to use just a wooden rolling pin. Kitchen foil, water and a paintbrush, scissors and some flour and just a little knife. I've had this pot for ages. I use it to have put candles in and I just wanted to give it a bit of a makeover. So I started off with wrapping it in foil just to kind of see the area that I was going to be working with. And it was quite a large area actually. So I needed 600 grams of clay in total. Put some flour down just to prevent it sticking. And then I started rolling out with the bottle. It's actually not that messy and it's very easy to use. For every 150 grams I put 15 grams of coffee in and I just wanted to make sure that it was spread evenly so I sort of layered it up. Then I found this effect with the spoon, which was pushing the coffee into the clay as much as I could. And then rolling it out. And I did this with about six of these. And then I put them all together to make one big one. And then when that was the width of the foil, I cut them in half then applied them onto the vase. I wanted to make sure the top part was kind of hanging over the edge. I just started kind of loosely shaping it around. Then I put the other half on. And it was actually really easy to work with. And I just wanted to smooth it out with the glass bottle as much as I could. Then I ended up turning it upside down and just working with the bottom bit because it was much easier to see this way. I used the knife to smooth it down in a lot of different areas and then made sure that the clay was really, really nice and wet on the outside and easy to work with. Shaped it all nicely around the bottom. Any air bubbles I just popped with some scissors and then just smoothed them over with my fingers. I could have spent ages working on this. I loved it so much, actually. I just wanted to make sure the top was really nice and even and neat looking. So I just cut around that with a knife. And this is the result after I left it to dry for 24 hours. Oh my goodness, I could not be happy with this. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. And you can see all the little coffee grounds in the clay. It's just beautiful, really nice and understated and classic. 
but I would definitely encourage you to give this a try. If you like this video, then I'm sure you're gonna love this one, so I'll see you there. Bye.